how do I understand bit depth and sample rate? Marty in New Jersey wants to know, and Marty writes, hey Paul, <clears throat> as I venture ever deeper <laughs> into high def music downloads and streaming, I struggle to understand the meaning of and the relationship between a track bit rate and its kilohertz rating. For example, 24 bit 96 kilohertz. What the hell does that mean? And how do the two affect one another? Or, or do they? I am looking into Tidal and Koba services. Well, both Tidal and Kobas are, are great services. My preference leans towards Kobas, but Tidal's got the better library. Uh, I just don't think they sound quite as good as Kobas, but uh, hey, it, they all sound great. And I would probably choose the one with the library that best suits you. So let's talk about sample rate and bit depth and what does it mean to us. They are confusing. So a standard compact disc, a CD, uh, you know, one of, one of these guys here. The little silver discs, right? The CD. The Red Book standard for a CD is 16 bits and 44.1 kilohertz. So what does that mean? The bit depth determines the dynamic range and the sample rate determines the maximum frequency that can be put onto the disc. So Allow me to explain. We know that um, dynamic range is the difference between the quietest sounds and the loudest sounds. Now, a uh, record, an album, if you will, has about 70 dB, meaning that from the very quietest, what down here in the noise, to the very loudest, that range is about 70 dB, and that's quite, that's quite loud. That's quite a bit of range. A 16-bit depth of, uh, on a CD can handle 96 dB. Now that's like 20 dB more, 25 dB more than a vinyl record. As that, and and that, that's where we get the original you know, idea of there is no noise and it can play as loud as an orchestra without having any dynamic restrictions, because 96 dB is huge. That's, that's a lot of dynamic range. When we say if we can go to, say, 16 or 18 or 24 bits, what are those extra bits by us? More dynamic range. So 24 bits can go it's 120 dB, something like that. And, and uh, 32 bit, I forgot, I, I don't remember, you can look it up, it, just do a Wikipedia search on it. I think you can get as high as about 130 dB or something, but if I remember correctly, 120 dB, or maybe it's 130, but the maximum dynamic range available today in practical digital audio recordings is the difference between a single molecule hitting your eardrum and standing next to a jet engine as it's running. Think about that. That dynamic range is unbelievable. And you don't need that. <laughs> so 16 bits is really the minimum. 24 bits is very comfortable. Within 24 bits, you can have all the dynamic range that anybody in a recording uh, situation could possibly want. And to be honest, most of that is not used because the range is so big that if we utilize the entire 120 dB of dynamic range, you'd be playing stuff down, down very, very low volumes that you probably wouldn't be able to hear in the listening room because it would be at so low of a level. Remember. One molecule of, of, I don't know what it is, hydrogen or something hitting your ear, very, very low. So, you know, the first 10, 15 dB, not even used. We don't bother with it. That's just to keep it quiet. So, bit depth is dynamic range. Sample rate is how high of a frequency that we allow within the audio space before we start rolling it off. So, 
With 44.1, you can get theoretically 22 kilohertz. You can get half of whatever the sample rate is. So 44.1, you can get, call it 20 kilohertz, which is the limit of human hearing. They need a little bit more than that in order to have some space for the filter to roll it off so you don't get all this digital crap, right? So that's how that originally came to be. 16-bit was enough to have the dynamics of a full or orchestra, and 44.1 was enough to get from 0 hertz all the way up to 20,000 hertz, which is as high as we can hear. Later, we went to 96 kilohertz, which is twice 48, and I'm not going to get into that. There's 44 and 48. 48 kilohertz is the professional standard. 44.1 is the, uh, the consumer standard. Don't ask. <laughs> anyway, when you double that, then you can take that same, what's half of 96? Well, I don't know, 45, 40, 40 yeah, <laughs> I just said it. 48 kilohertz. So ostensibly, you can go as high as 48 kilohertz, far higher than you can hear. And if we go to 192 kilohertz, and the reason that all of these higher sample rates are important is because of what it allows us to do in terms of filtering, the ease of the filter. We don't have to have this giant chuck cut off and all that. So generally speaking, higher sample rates and bit depth are, are, are good to help things sound better. So I hope that gives a little bit of light onto what can be a complicated subject. And then there's DSD, which is one bit, and it's better than any of this 192.24. So we'll talk about that later if somebody asks. Okay, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks for, thanks for asking, and see you later. Bye.